Storms are a major process that transports sediment from nearshore to offshore environments. So I've drawn a coastline here uh, with the normal wave base and uh, the waves interact with the bottom uh, above this wave base zone and they transport the sediment back and forth um, onto the beach and off the beach. And under normal circumstances, any sediment that's entrained uh, in the flow and gets out here ends up deposited uh, below a uh, wave base. With storms, you tend to have very large wind, um, winds that increase the size of the waves. So you often have larger than normal waves and the storm can drive water onto the coast and um, pull it back off. In other words, they can create a storm surge. And so that storm surge creates currents. And generally, those, both of these really increase the amount of, of erosion along the shoreline. So when a storm comes in, the, a lot of the energy is focused where the waves are breaking in the, in the stone here. So you tend to get a lot of erosion along, along the shorelines. So if the storm is really large and washes up into these higher areas, usually the flow slows down as it gets further inland and you end up with deposits uh, inland. And then a lot of the sediment also gets washed into uh, the deeper parts of the ocean as well. So we often see storm deposits in uh, these um, near shore but deeper water types of environments. And we often get very characteristic deposits that are, character that are influenced by this combination of waves and currents. So in general, the flow speeds of those decrease as you go out, so that usually the coarser grains are deposited um, near the shore and the finer grains get moved uh, farther offshore. So if we look at a, a typical sequence of a storm deposit through time, uh, we often have uh, let's take a break from that. Okay. If we look at a, t a, a typical sequence of what happens in a storm uh, through time, We have sort of our normal background waves. Usually the wave size increases before you get the currents, so you end up with larger waves. Right. Um, we end up with peak waves plus uh, the um, storm surge and this is the time when there's the most energy around and then so then we have um, we'll go down to let's say medium waves and the storm surge starts retreating so this would be as the storm is uh, moving away so that is usually offshore flow. And then we have a continuation of medium waves. And then we go back to normal waves. Okay. Let's change this to large here they can decrease through time. Okay. So if we think about this in terms of what we get with the sediment um, 
if we're looking out below wave base, before the storm comes, there's not much going on. The waves get larger, it will start moving the sediment at deeper water depths. But usually when that happens, there's not hasn't been very much erosion from onshore yet, so the sediment supply isn't very large. Um, and then as um, the flow speeds increase with the storm surge and the peak waves, usually what happens in this zone here is you get erosion. And so often when the storm's coming, you may be moving the sediment around, but it doesn't leave much of a deposit. Instead, you tend to get an erosional surface or a little unconformity. And then as the wave starts to, as the storm starts to leave, the, the flow speeds are decreasing through time. And so usually in this part, you end up with deposition. Okay. So almost always what we see in the rock record from the storm deposit is evidence of erosion and the waning aspects of the storm. Thanks for watching.